Hello everyone. Welcome to another session with Desilicious Kitchen. Today let us see how to make Thalagam Kootu. This Thalagam Kootu is a mixed vegetable stew. This is served along with a sweet called Kali as an offering to Lord Shiva during the festival of Thiruvadara in Tamil Nadu. This Kootu or stew has different versions on the internet. Each family has its own version. But I am yet to see this particular version that we are showing you today. In case you come across a similar version, do let us know. This recipe has been passed on to me by my mother and to her by her mother and so on. So this is a family recipe. So let's see how to make this Thalagam Kutu. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Desilicious Kitchen and press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you. 1 cup is 250 ml in our recipes but you can use any cup that you want and then we have taken half teaspoon urad dal or split black gram, half teaspoon split pigeon peas or tuar dal, half teaspoon split bengal gram or chana dal and uh, half, tablespoon, half tablespoon coriander seeds or dhania, 1 teaspoon white sesame seeds or safitil and 2 to 3 red chilli. Gooseberry sized tamarind soaked in warm water and juice extracted from it. Half, half tablespoon gourd or jaggery. Half teaspoon turmeric powder or haldi. Salt to taste. Coconut oil 1 tablespoon. And then we have taken the following vegetables. 1 fourth cup eggplants. 1 fourth cup Padwal or snake gourd, 1 fourth cup white pumpkin, then 1 fourth cup yam or suran, 1 fourth cup lal bhopla or red pumpkin, 1 fourth cup potatoes mm -hmm. or batata, 1 fourth cup papdi or broad beans, 1 fourth cup sweet potatoes. We have taken 1 fourth cup of each vegetables. Now let's heat some water in a pan and when the water comes to a boil, add turmeric powder or haldi. And now we are going to add the vegetables that we had chopped and washed. So in go the vegetables. We have not added too much water. We have just added sufficient water to cook the vegetables. We don't want to waste the water and we don't want a watery gravy also. So now let's cover and cook on a low flame and in the meanwhile let's prepare to roast the ingredients for the masala. So we have heated a pan and added a little oil to it. Now add in the chana dal. Roast for a few seconds say about 10 to 15 seconds. Then now add in the tuar dal. Urad dal. Roast again for a few seconds. Add in the coriander seeds or dhania. Continue to roast on a very low flame. Now we are adding sesame seeds or safed til and the red chilies. We have added more of these spices than we need for this too. We are going to store it. Now we have transferred it to a mixture jar after they have cooled down and we have ground it to a powder. And in the meanwhile, now we are checking whether our vegetables have cooked. They have cooked now. So let us add in some salt. Give it a mix. And now add in the tamarind juice. Mix it well. Bring it to a boil. And now add in jaggery. Mm. 
now we are adding the ground masala as i said we have ground more masala than we need so we are adding only half of the masala but the proportions i have given are exactly for uh, what we actually need mix the masala into it very well mm this smells so good you can use this masala for even any other sabji add in the curry leaves or kadhi patta now we are done with the vegetables they've come to a boil we've switched off the flame and added coconut oil yeah we are not going to do any tempering we have just added the coconut oil to it in the end and our awesome talagam kootu is ready now let us take it out in a serving bowl the vegetables have retained their shape and texture yet they have cooked so well you can have this even with uh, kichdi or rice it is not necessary that you have to have it only with this curry you must try this out it's an awesome combination i hope you enjoyed watching this recipe do try it out and let us know your feedback so that is the curry and we are serving that talagam kootu with it isn't it tempting here you can have some okay friends bye take care see you with another recipe soon but if you really like this recipe do not forget to subscribe like share and comment bye